Hey, this is Sadan, and Coach of the Sydney Six bring you the week four battle of our run of the YouTube Challenges League, uh, or the YCL for short. Uh, this week we'll be facing the Atlanta Sobbles and their coach, actually Among Us. Now, uh, last week we we suffered a loss, um, and uh, that was pu purely my fault. Um, I had a bad week at basically work and other personal stuff and i uh let that affect my ability to play um the battle uh, i had a plan but didn't even i had a well not a great plan but i think whatever plan i had i didn't even follow it um and uh, i just was even from the first move i was just i think i had this like defeatist attitude so i it didn't it didn't help myself um and then my my opponent just played really well like he he played a clean game and ultimately uh he, he won up one top and i had to take that four four nil loss and i mean i probably deserved it um but this week i'm feeling a lot better um and um obviously i think my this this week uh is going to be a hard week I am currently last in my division, and uh, my opponent is the only uh, uh, only team to, in the, our division to have not suffered a loss. Um, and he's the division leader, obviously, because of that. Um, he didn't play his week three match yet, but I think that's happening soon, so that's why uh, no win or loss have been declared yet. But with that said, um, yeah, this is gonna be a tough match. Um, versus, um, but I do think my team is uh, has a pretty good matchup against his. Um, but before we get into that, um, uh, I do want to, like as always, say that uh, check out my opponent's uh, uh, channel. Um, every uh, every coach in this league has our YouTubers, and we're all uh, documenting our. Uh, runs of this league and um, you check his channel out i'll leave it in the description below along with um his side of the battle if it um if it's up uh, anyway, it, it, it will be there regardless uh the other um actually yeah so um you should uh, I, I say check him out because i think he's got a like a great uh uh, attitude towards uh, battling. He has a, he's a guy that really, from what I can tell, like really plans what he wants to do and um, knows how to approach the battle really, his battles really well. So uh, I, I say check him out. Um, he definitely does more battles than I do. So um, with that said, uh, let's check out his team. Okay, so the, here's the full team and. I also want to note that, like, this is not the team he drafted. He didn't draft this team. He's actually a replacement coach. Uh, he was here. He's been there since week one. So um, he, he he didn't he did he's played all the matches, but he didn't actually do the draft. Um, now he didn't actually make any changes. Uh, he was allowed to, but um, I think he was uh, he ultimately uh, kept it because he must he must like the team. Um, and to be honest, uh, I can see why, um, especially with that first three picks, uh, the Dragonite, Metagross, and Azumarill, I think those three are just work, uh, it's just a solid core. Um, I personally, I, I was, I, I, I think I have said in the team builder that I wanted to, to get Heat Ran as, and if I did end up getting Heat Ran, I would have chosen Azumarill as my second pick, like, no doubt about it. Um, Dragonite probably could have been my, my third. I, who knows? But at this point, um, he's got a strong Fairy Dragon Steel Core. Um, and he's got a, an okay uh, Fire Water Grass, I think. Um, now, um, his team is a, a very... Uh, how do I say? It, it's... It's it's a very compact speed. He's got I think his slowest Pokemon is fifty speed at with Azumarill and his fastest is uh 
um, mill tank at 100, so he's got like sandwiched in really um, a, a really compact uh, speed tier now, um, and it's um, in a in a good range because now I I can't really go for adamant or water's Pokemon's because they um, there's no way to really outspeed something without another of his. Uh, I can't speak really, yeah, outspeed something without one another, another Pokemon that's more threatening to to uh, threaten it. Um, so that said, he's like he's got a good team. Um, I feel like it's for me his team's a bit top heavy. Um, those, but outside those three, I. I see maybe Simeon as, as a, like a really strong pick. Then with Rotom Mo and, and, and Mil Tank, but the the other four are, are just Pokemon. I I really don't know. Um, I, they just don't feel that strong to me. Magmortar is probably is, is okay. I guess it has the high special attack, but that that defense is just so bad, and it's it's got okay speed. So uh, yeah. Um, Evil, I, I I don't know, but uh, upon looking at like the damage you can do with if, if it gets that stakeout boost is good. Um, Thorok and Maractus, I have just I, I really don't know what they they offer. But that said, yeah, the he he probably doesn't even need them because those that that core is just so strong. And then along with Miltank and Rotom, I think if he just he can just probably bring those five. Every week, and it'll, it'll be a strong team, and then just swap out that a sixth slot. So r there's really no need for him to to really uh, have a like a strong uh, tail. Um, uh, with that said, I think my f the focus of my t my uh, team building is that I think Dragonite and Azumarill is going to be the like a huge threat, they require a lot, but they both require setup. So I think Clefable, keeping Clefable healthy is something that I is gonna have to be something I have to prioritize. Um, the other thing is he has Metagross, which can easily um, get rid of uh, Clefable. So I do have to keep, be mindful of Metagross and really have my team, um, I, my checks and counters with all for Metagross to be really healthy. So, um, that's what my, my plan was going forward, and I was just hoping that from there I can build my team strong enough just to deal with the rest of his team. Um, so, with that said, um, for my first pick, I went with uh, Cinderace. So, uh, Cinderace uh, with Heavy Duty Boots and, and Nero. Um, obviously, uh, I feel like I need to get back to a little bit more basic. I tried to think. I think I went a little bit. I overthought the sets for Cinder Ace in the round two and three um, uh, matches. Now, obviously, in round two, I didn't. <coughs> sorry. Um, I uh, I didn't end up getting used Cinder Ace that much because I got paralyzed. And three, I just think. Uh, just went over the top uh, and uh, I paid for it um, uh, I went with heavy duty boots because I think stealth rock will take in play um, stealth rock was has been in all my matches and uh, so far and I, I don't see how this one will be different he has a pretty uh, reliable stealth rock setter in mill tank so uh, uh, I'll go yeah with that uh, Pyro Ball, I think, just hits, obviously, hits Metagross uh, super effectively, along with Rotom Mo and Maractus. Um, U-Turn also hits Maractus and uh, Rotom Mo for super effective, but uh, I also get the added, like, uh, super effective um, on uh, Soul Rock and Devil. So, uh, that's useful. Uh, Sucker Punch just for priority, really, and... Uh, for high, for my fourth move, I chose high jump kick just because I felt like my team, as a whole, was just lacking uh, answers to mill tank. Um, so yeah, I just went with high jump kick. It's also a good move. Just it's probably the best move I have for uh, Magmortar, uh, which could be a good switch in on 
on uh, Snorice, but that low defense, it really isn't. Um, I went 228 plus speed, that allows me to uh, outspeed max speed uh, mill tank. Um, even though I doubt he'll go max speed mill tank, but uh, I don't want to risk uh, having to be slower than his team. Um, at uh, I went 100. Uh, I went like max attack and just the rest into bulk. Uh, it's a pretty simple build to be honest. So uh, yeah, uh, and so that's my first Pokemon. Uh, there's nothing much to say. This is probably my main attacking. Uh, this is makes up probably the bulk of my offense. So. If I lose Cinderace pretty fast, I'm, I'm going to be in a little bit of trouble. Um, but hopefully, uh, yeah, the, this this build is... Uh, as long as I, I, I think I can keep Cinderace uh, alive, it'll, I can take down his team pretty easily with it. Um, my uh, second Pokemon is Clefable. Um, this is going to be my main answer to uh, Dragonite and uh, Zumaro. Uh, I have the unaware ability, meaning that he can't really boost. Uh, well, he can, but um, it won't. Clefable won't be affected by it. Uh, I went with leftovers just to keep uh, Clefable healthy. I need Clefable to be healthy in order to check uh, Dragonite and uh, Zumaril. Um, uh, I just went with a uh, Moonblast so I can super effectively hit um, uh, Dragonite and some of his other Pokemon like Devil. Uh, Clefable is also a good Pokemon to come in on Devil. Um, I went with Aromatherapy because I, I feel like his Rotom could have a Thunder Wave and a Will O Wisp, which really could hurt my team. Um, plus, you know, there's like Flame Body from uh, Magmortar, which could burn my team. There's just a few things that, and then Toxic could have occur, but uh, I just want to keep them healthy. Um, Soft Boil allows. Uh, Clefable to stay healthy. Uh, Thunder Wave, I think, is a good move just to throw out uh, Metagross and uh, Dragonite. Probably really don't want to take that uh, Thunder Wave. Um, so, yeah, it's just a good move to ha to have. I went max, just max defense. So full HP, full defense, um, bold nature. Uh, this allows me to at least uh, with like three hit K, like uh, Zumerals, uh play rough. Even with like adamant max investment, um, uh, we'll still hit three hit three hit KO Clefable. Um, yeah, I think I don't think uh, Dragonite has any moves that can Oko. Uh, Iron Head can two hit KO, but um, it's even like a roll with leftover recovery. So it's yeah, um, yeah. It just went with full defense. Uh, yeah, just so I can check the Pokemon's I need to. Um, now for my uh, third Pokemon, uh, I went with Jellicent. Um, Jellicent is going to be my main uh, um, check on uh, Metagross. I think Metagross is just too important uh, Pokemon in his team to to leave unchecked. Uh, I went with a uh, Cobalt Berry, so I don't have I at least uh, take a knockoff. And at that point, obviously knockoffs will will do as much damage. Um, water absorb, so at least that way, uh, Zumeral can't, um, what is it called, uh, Aqua Jet on my, uh, Jellicent. Um, I, I went with S Scald and, uh, X. Well, Scald is just a good Pokemon, just a good move to throw out, may have a chance of burning. Uh, Will-O-Wisp at least guarantees those burns. Especially, I want to get that that on Metagross and possibly a Um and Hex is just you know with those burns, it's good to have uh, that ex extra damage and recovery. Just ensures that I keep Jellicent healthy. Um, I I really need to, uh, yeah, th th that's really important to me. Uh, especially as long as Metagross is is alive and healthy, I have to keep Jellicent healthy. Um. With uh, 84 speed, it uh, allows me to outspeed a uh, no speed invested uh, base 70 Pokemon, so his Sol Solrock and Metagross. Um, I doubt Sol Metagross would be not speed invested, but Solrock is a possibility. Um, and then the rest just went into defense and HP. I think 
the, this way I can at least survive um, a lot of moves. Um, now I know Metagross could be life orbed with um, Grass Knot and then that will just to hit KO. Jellicent, same with uh, maybe Choice Banded with uh, Thunder Punch. But uh, at that point I think he has to he has to be like high have to use those choice items to or uh, life orb to really do damage and i think i can work around play around that if i or i can play around more choice band than uh life orb but at least i can play around with those um moves uh if he uses those items um i, I do suspect that metagross is probably gonna be choice scarf just so he can outspeed a lot of my uh pokemons and um yeah, Metagross has the coverage moves to threaten all my my fast Pokemon, so um, I do have to be careful about that. Uh, my fourth Pokemon is Serena, and uh, this is going to be my main uh, check to uh, really Rotom, Mo, and Maractus, I guess. But I also uh, EV'd it so that I ensure I outspeed his Azumarill, no matter what, or Adamant Azumarill. I don't think... It's fed to outspeed a jolly Azumarill. Could go for that, but I, I doubt it. Um, just the the damage the the damage output loss if from going from adamant to to jolly is too large. Um, um, it is a good Pokemon, I think, against Azumarill. Uh, only issue is that if he's Sap Sipper, I and there's nothing I can do. Uh, I can't do good damage against it, but. That's it. Uh, I went with Citrus Berries so, so I can keep Sony as healthy as possible. Um, same with the move Synthesis. Uh, Trop Kick, just a great move. I think just throw out, lowers the attack of uh, my opponent. Uh, if he switches, you know, out. Yeah. Um, knock Off, just so I can get rid of items and U-Turns just for pivoting. Um, so that those are the, like the moves uh, I, I went. Uh, like I said, 84 speed ensures I have speed uh, Adamant Azumarill. Um, I went 188 uh, attack. I believe Trop Kick will uh, Oko Azumarill at quarter H three quarter HP. So um, that's assuming he gets a Belly Drum off, and then the Citrus he uses a Citrus Berry to to recover his Azumarill. So um, yeah, that 188 speed uh, attack ensures Trop Kick will, will achieve that. Um, and then, uh, the rest went into, uh, HP, uh, and, yeah, and just into bulk, really. Um, for my fifth Pokemon, uh, I was really thinking I'm, I'm, I am lacking, uh, offensive pressure, so I went with, uh, Ligon with Choice Scarf. Uh, I went 100 plus speed. This means that I can outspeed uh, plus one uh, Dragonite, um, uh, which is important to me. I think uh, after one Dragon Dance, uh, that way I can like at least sack something and then get uh, Flygon in. Um, the other, uh, the rest went into attack, uh, like so max attack, and then the rest went into bulk. Um, I went with a like Edge Quake. Uh, I think that's just a great coverage move. Um, they're just good to move to cover each other's weakness. I, I feel like I wanted to just stick with like Earthquake and Dragon Claw, but I feel like there was just Pokemons that would come in easily. It invites Rotom pretty easily. Um, and even though Azumar probably doesn't want to take an Earthquake on a come in, uh, coming in, um, at least Stone Edge, I can just throw out, I think, pretty safely on any of his Pokemons. Uh, and then, yeah, and then in U-turns just for momentum. Um, now, uh, for my last Pokemon, uh, I decided to go with uh, Duraludon. Uh, and Duraludon is more of a suicide lead. I think the same vein as my first week, no, week two match. Uh, but this time, I actually, I think I, I let my head, uh, I let the, the idea that he could taunt get into my head a little bit. Uh, I think I'm just gonna throw out Stealth Rocks no matter what. Um, even if I, I there's a risk of taunt. Uh, the only Pokemon that can taunt Duraludon, uh, or can stop um, Duraludon from Stealth Rocking is um, Evil. Um, it's faster and has taunt. Uh, but 
Yeah, that that's it. Uh, one Draco Meteor just to do as much damage. Steel Beam. Um, again, lots of damage. Whilst a way of killing myself if I need to. Um, Dark Pulse allows me just. I think that's just the best move to hit. Um, Metagross with with which where Metagross because he resists Draco Meteor and Steel Beam. Um, now uh, I went with 148 plus. Uh, speed. I think that allows me to outspeed uh, an adamant max speed Metagross. Um, I I don't think he's going to go jolly. I think adamant is probably the best. Uh, but uh, if he does choice, goes choice uh, scarf, it really wouldn't matter. But um, I I just want to cover that he, the base uh, basis that uh, he doesn't go choice scarf and pos most likely punish him by you know doing a lot of damage before it, my Doralodon faints. Um, now 220 special attack allows me to, uh, allows uh, Draco Meteor to, to hit KO a lot of the non-resisted um, Pokemons. Um, yeah, so th that's basically it. It's just so I can to hit KO non no, Pokemons that don't resist uh, Dragon. Uh, obviously, uh, the rest just went into bulk after that. Um, yeah, so Focus Ash also just allows me to guarantee I have Stealth Rock off. Uh, that's my team. Oh, it's a bit long, <laughs> this team builder, but uh, let's just uh, get straight into the battle then. Okay, so let's see what my opponent's gonna bring. Oh, feeling, feeling pretty nervous actually. <laughs> uh, okay, so. I mean, good, good luck. Good luck to my opponent. Um, how well I feel. <laughs> yeah, uh, good, good luck to him. Um, but I do hope that I'm the one that's victorious at the end. Uh, we'll see how that goes. Um, okay, yeah. He's chosen his team. Okay. Import. I mean, I was expecting that uh, that you know, Dragon Steel Core. I was coming. Kind of, Metagross is actually really good against my team, so I uh, I didn't see. Um, kind of suspecting the Mortar. Uh, to be honest. Um. Okay, so um, I'm just gonna lead with the Old Dawn. Uh, I have a minute, but. And, uh, I see no reason to lead with any other Pokemon besides the Um It's not why I'm hoping to actually get up Stealth Rocks. I don't see any reason not to just turn one Stealth Rock. Uh, to be honest, I just... Now, uh, I probably suspect he's gonna lead with uh, Hill Tank. I think that's a great lead for him. So, uh, otherwise, uh, Metagross is gonna be an interesting lead. And that's also a pretty good lead, actually, but it's a pretty good Uh, and we could, you know, we could very well, uh, be swapping, um, uh, hazards here. But, I, uh, I am just gonna kick stuff off. Regardless, I, I, there's nothing really for me, I think, else for me to do. Uh, he's gonna body push straight away. I am. I'm actually okay with that. Uh, just gonna click Draco. Uh, this is very much a suicide lead to all one, so I don't really care about that. And I did pretty much the damage I expected out of Draco, uh, so. Um. Might as well Draco again. He's probably going to switch, but like I said, this is a suicide lead, and unless I predict 
Holy shit, this missile I thought it uh, was going to be a thing. I thought it was going to be a Zumo, but we were talking about in. So, um... I wish we were probably out. Oh, okay. We did that. So yeah, to Okay. Uh, I'm okay with that. I am just going to switch now, actually, because, um... I don't have enough damage to, um, to suicide through, uh, Steel Beam. So, I, I, I probably need, um, Girls on to set up more slight, um, uh, set up more, what do you call it? Um, Stealth Rocks. So, um, what's this Pokemon from here? Uh, I am going to U-turn actually with uh, Selena so kind of suspect that move to be honest um, but, uh, yeah that makes sense so hopefully uh, I don't get I don't get burnt here could have flame body. Oh, that's Rocky Helm. That sucks. Um, but yeah. Uh, I'm gonna just get him flag on. So. points I am going to Stone Edge I think this is my safest move here <laughs> I say it's my safest move even though it has like the low accuracy um, okay it's scouting um, probably predicted that I was going to have a uh, choice scar but uh, that said probably going to switch ah you know what I should have tried to predict. Probably gonna to switch to uh Edda Gross. Um No? Okay. I'll just I'll let his Mad Mortar faint. Which is I think fair I think pretty fair. I don't know what Mad I mean Mad Mortar was good a good resist against um Um call, uh I mean, a good resist against uh, Cinderace. That's it. Um, I'm gonna just click Stone Age again. I think this should be enough. Going for defensive variant. Oh, okay, no. Yeah. Okay. I'm surprised. I'm surprised I actually survived that. Um, okay. I, I, you know what? It, could be as I could use it as a um, uh, as a sack. So I am going to switch to Cinderace. Now this is a risky move. This could just body press here and I'll still do heaps of damage to my Cinderace. Um, no, I think it was an ice punch. Okay. Hopefully I don't get frozen here. No. Okay. That's good. So... Um... Now he could be... F like... I... Um... He's got Pyro Ball here. And he can't get Rotom in, and he probably doesn't want to get, um... What's it called? Uh... Dragonite. Okay. I didn't think his Dragonite... Does it have Heavy Dew? No, it doesn't. Okay, uh... Let's go ahead U-turn. He could Extreme Speed to do, get some chip off, but... Oh, okay. 
That's a surprise on my end. <laughs> Am I gonna even survive? Uh, I think it would survive. Uh, the stealth rocks. Okay, what is this Pokemon now? It's going to be either Metagross or. Okay, I am just going to. I am going to Earthquake. This is a risk, but uh, I don't think he's going to go Rotom. Damn it! <laughs> no, Rotom. Uh, I should have U-turned it. That's, uh, that's my mistake now. Ugh. Um, Mistakes were made. Uh, nothing I can do about it, I guess. Air balls. Okay. I am. I am gonna synthesis here. He's gonna probably Volt Switch. Um, and I know this is not actually putting myself in a great position, uh, but Serena seems to be reliably uh, walling Rotom, so I see no reason to the synthesis and just maybe sack uh, Rolodon. So. So I am, like I said, fully sack Thralodon. Huh? Even though Rotom can fog, but it's not like he can stay up stop rocks again either, so... Um... Little windy. Okay, this is easy. Um... Now I suspect he's going to actually... Um... Switch to, uh... Uh, Azumo. So, I can probably get some big damage off. Either way, uh, I'm sacking, <laughs> I'm sacking Doralodon at my own volition here. So, uh, for hopefully a good position. Uh, I did lose probably my, my best damage dealer to Stragonite, so. Ah, oh, okay. Oh, <laughs> uh, that kind of sucks, actually. Um, Stay in, there's no way, and he's probably gonna switch to another guy. Oh man, I am not. I am not predicting his moves well. I think he just wants to sack Dragonite now. Which, okay. I can see why he would probably want to do that. Um, I'm gonna soft boil just in case he. Yeah. That, that was his actual words.
Depends on what his Pokemon is, it's probably Metagross coming in. Um, if that was my guess. Uh, now, I do want to rather, if I have to choose, I would rather Will-O-Wisp Metagross than uh, um, so hopefully uh, I can get a, get a Will-O-Wisp off onto his Metagross. I should take that pretty well. Oh, actually, no, I took that not as well as I hope I would. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> I'm gonna recover. I just feel like um, I just want to scout the damage a bit. That's to be honest. Um, I think it might be choice banded. Um, invested in, in in special defense so I am I am going to recover actually I just want to see if he vault switches or something not the shadow balls okay This is Shadow Balls again. Okay, fair enough. I suspect something like that. Okay, I am going to now switch to Selena. In hopes of... that really well. Uh, best thing to do, I know he's probably going to switch to, well, I mean U-turn, um, but I want to keep Selena healthy for Rotom, so I am going to, to synthesis here, so. I honestly can just stall this out a bit. Uh, I'm gonna sit this one more time, expecting him to probably Shadow Ball one more time. Um, and then uh, I will U turn. Okay, now we both switch. Which is fine by me, I think. Um, Selena is probably also my best bet against Azumarill at the moment, so I probably have to keep. I want to keep Selena as healthy as possible. Um, now I suspect he is Choice Banded on his Metagross, so um, let's see what he does. I am going to switch to Jellicent. Now he could have Thunder Punch, I'm gonna admit that is a possibility. Uh, but then at, at that point I guess it is. Uh, um, nice punch. Take that very easily. Uh, recover here. 
really a reason for me to not recover. I'm gonna go to Azuma, obviously. Now, I don't know what he's gonna do with Azuma at this point. I actually. Oh no, he went with Rotom. <laughs> of course. Um. Recover. Why, why not? Um. In Go Thunderbolt, that's what he's put. Leaf Storm, okay. Oh, I shouldn't be care I shouldn't be careful about that. Um, but lucky for me, he uh, oh yes, I am so lucky at this point. <laughs> I don't think he has enough special attack to, for any of his, unless he crits, to to do enough damage. Switch. Obviously. Okay. Well, I know Rotom can't come in again anymore. Um, now, depends what his move is going to be. Like I said, he could have uh, Bumble Punch on his... Uh, um, sorry, his... Uh, Now uh, I am going to... Uh, oh shit, I did the wrong move! Uh, I did the wrong move there. Uh, I was supposed to go to this square. Um... Oh, I'm gonna have to recover, I think. That's... Faster. That is definitely fact. Um, uh, I'll go sack. I have no choice. Yeah. Selena, I don't think he is going to be uh, Sapsipper. If he's Sapsipper, I think good for him now. I think. Uh, I don't. I can't risk not going. Oh, could I go U-turn? Um, nah, nah, nah. That, that's too. too not, not. That's that's too risky. I have to go kick. Yes. Okay. That got me exactly what I needed. <laughs> So, I think, I think that's a win for me, <laughs> barely though. Um, uh, I'm just going to click knock off, because I think no way a move up happens. Um, okay, well, I think that's a slight win, kind of a timer win. Um, I don't know whether uh, me deciding that contemplating on doing U-turn that one turn really costs anything in the game, but because um, I could have easily switched to Jellicent at that point, um, so it wasn't really. I don't think he had Thunder Punch on his uh, uh, Metagross, so <laughs> a good game to to my opponent. Uh, he played actually a really tight game. I, I think. Um, Obviously, like he he really neutered my offense really hard at the, at the beginning, so it made it really difficult to actually just outright beat his team. Uh, and the choice scarf on the, the Dragonite was uh, something I didn't expect. I actually thought choice scarf was gonna go on Metagross, um, but 
Uh, see what I know. That's that shows what I know. Like I, I should have prepared for that. Oh, I shouldn't have risked uh, my uh, Cinderace on, on that. Uh, regardless, like good game. Um, and also, like, I appreciate like uh, 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 my opponent like having this battle after he just got back from work. Uh, he worked he works nights, so it's like I I understand like get really tired I used to work nights um, uh, when I was uh, doing my uh, university degree so um, I, I, I get that and uh, I, I appreciate him um, taking the time to, to, to do that um, but um, also ch check out his his channel I think he, he has a he's, he's got like a pretty um, uh, insightful, I think, look into uh, how how battles should should take place. Um, uh, he's clearly a, a guy who who has a plan and really just like executes it. So uh, I I urge you to check out his his channel. I'll leave a link to it in the description uh, as well to as his side of the battle. Um, but um, otherwise, uh, that was a win. Um, and uh yeah i i really needed that um and um hopefully i can continue this win streak so hopefully i can see you guys uh next time um if you like the video please i uh, i would really appreciate a like uh otherwise if you want to follow my my run of this uh, ycl league uh uh, the best thing to do is to subscribe to this channel. Uh, until next time, I hope you guys have a great day, and uh, see ya!